Napkin is a new minimalistic personal knowledge management app. It feels like a mix of my mind, which is a bookmark manager app, and note apps like Roam and Obsidian. It uses AI and the natural language processing to analyze your notes to suggest connections. It's got a great note review feature using space repetition to resurface your notes to increase serendipity. Scrivener like writing experience where you can organize your notes in corkboard. It provides a good balance between chaos like in our minds and order like on paper. If you find Rome, Logseek, and Obsidian a bit too geeky, Napkin is a simple and minimalistic but powerful note app. How are you doing? My name is Shu. Today's video is my first impression of Napkin. I've been looking forward to reviewing it for a long time since I saw its website, which looked intriguing, and I finally got my invite. I've used it for the past few weeks, and、uh, honestly, I really like it. It's simple, fun to use, and a great writing tool to build your second brain with. It's a mix of different apps like、uh, My Mind, Roam, Obsidian, and、uh, Scrivener. My Mind is a bookmark manager app which uses AI to analyze and、uh, organize the Items you saved. Similarly, Napkin uses AI or natural language processing to analyze your notes to suggest connections between notes. Also, Roam and Obsidian because you can link your notes by directionally. Then Scrivener, which is one of the most popular writing apps because of this corkboard-like interface for creating an outline, which I find really useful. And maybe Scrintool because of its canvas-like interface. But you cannot move your notes around in Napkin. Anyway, let's see its features. So Napkin's interface is very simple. Essentially, you have the main window where you can see all of the notes you have, and when you click one, it will show you the notes along with relevant notes. This is one of the cool things about Napkin. Every time you click on the center note, it will show you other notes that are potentially relevant, which is great for finding new connections. But a note in Napkin isn't like notes in other note-taking apps. They are more like、uh, small thinking blocks. As you can see, each one displays only limited characters, like a tweet. Of course, you can make a longer note if you wanted, but Napkin encourages you to take a small note or atomic note. Atomic note means only one idea per a note. I really like it because this encourages you to deconstruct a big idea into small components, which is helpful so you can reuse them for other writing. It's like playing with Lego. You cannot repurpose a big block unless you break it down into small pieces. It improves the recombinability of a note. All right, now let's talk about one of the coolest features of Napkin, that is magic labeling. As you write, it analyzes the content of your note using natural language processing, and it will. Suggest suitable tags. Based on the tags you chose, it will show you、uh, potentially relevant notes in your knowledge base. I find this magic labeling feature really useful because you don't have to spend much time to think about what tags you should give to each note or block. This is maybe a minor issue some people encounter when using apps like、um, Roam and、uh, Obsidian. Also, it's kind of like a serendipity machine. While reviewing Napkin, the most fun part was to see surprising connections between notes. In terms of linking ideas, Napkin might be better at making easy and fun than any other note-taking apps. And if you want to make more specific connections, you can link your notes together directly. Also, Napkin has a useful browser extension and an iOS app called Napkin Collect, which you can use to save text to your knowledge base. So, for example, when you see something you want to save, just highlight a sentence and hit send to Napkin. Using the magic labeling, it will automatically give the highlight a few relevant tags. This is really cool. I had a lot of fun saving highlights and then seeing what connections Napkin will show me. The next main feature is stacks. This is where you put the notes in order and do linear writing. So let's say you want to write about how to keep blood sugar level steady. You can create a new stack and start looking for relevant notes. You can explore your knowledge base using tags to find useful notes. When you find one, drag it to the stack to add the note. Once you get enough materials, you can organize them. This reminded me of Scrivener, which I used to use when I was in uni. In Scrivener, you can reorder and、uh, organize your notes on a corkboard, which is such a useful planning tool for writers. Similarly, in Napkin, you can use these cards to create an outline inside a stack. 
Somehow I found writing in cork boards like this much easier than writing on a blank screen like on Google Document. And that's probably because the best way to make writing less intimidating is to build a skeleton first. This is one of the best writing tips I learned. You start by naming the document, just write the first sentence, make an outline, and then fill in the skeleton. For this method, napkin is perfect. Also, another feature I want to mention is moments. It's a kind of a new feature that lets you review notes more easily. Essentially, there are three ways to review notes in napkin. One is to simply press a tab on your keyboard. This will resurface your notes using a spaced repetition algorithm. Second way is to use the inbox. This will show you the notes you created recently. Third way is to use the not seen a while folder. This will literally show you the notes you haven't seen in a while. It's such a useful feature though, because it will make sure that no notes will be wasted or stay buried at the bottom of your knowledge base. Overall, I had lots of fun reviewing Napkin. It reminded me of Robert Green and uh, Ryan Holiday's writing method. They use index cards to collect ideas and uh, organize them to create an outline for their books. Maybe Napkin might be the closest digital alternative for their methods. Anyway, you can try napkin using the link in the description. If you use my promo code SHUOMI, you can get one month free, so you can try it out to see if you like it. Also, if you want to learn more about my favorite note taking method called Zero Kasten, check out this video. Alright, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!